neighborhood of sorcerers, magicians, and necromancers. Oh, I mean, excuse me, excluding necromancers. And uh, we have a remarkable show for you tonight. Uh, a show which I assure you will never again in any other venue be staged except uh, tomorrow in Seattle. But welcome to the first, uh, second, last Portland revival. It is the last Portland revival because after this, you will be ticking down the hours till... of all that we hold near and dear. The immolation of screaming million, million. The appearance of giant flying saucers over all of Earth's major cities. These are what we refer to as the pleasure saucers of the sex goddesses. Sub-geniuses shall be saved. All others shall fry in their own oil. Of course, if you buy a uh, badge from the concession stand, uh, the aliens will uh, scoop you up and you will be lifted up in the clouds in what we call the divine rupture. Now I'm not going to be here bandying sub-genius theology with you all night. I'm sure you know it all already, particularly if you've bought our books. The book of the subgenius, still available, and Revelation X, the Bob Apocryphon. Hey, Bob! And that one is getting hard to find. And is it any wonder? X Day is July 5th, 1998, at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, due to scheduling problems, we had to make it at 7 o'clock in the morning. The world will end in a blossom of agonizing fire. There will be weeping and gnashing of mandibles. All that is high will be cast down, and unwholesome monsters thirsting for human blood shall stalk the land, and it will be impossible to buy them off. So, uh, one must pay one's dues while the opportunity still lasts. But uh, this is no cheap uh, con. For one thing, the dues have gone uh, way up, and it's no longer as cheap uh, as it used to be. And so, um, <clears throat> I uh, feel it attendant upon me on this auspicious occasion uh, to uh, cut short this line of blather and introduce our first fantastic performer. He is true nobility of uh, the performance world. Uh, in fact, we call him the Duke of Uke. Come forward, please, Your Grace. Your public awaits. As his name suggests, the Duke of Uke uh, plays an instrument. Uh, where is your instrument this evening? I shall fetch it. Uh, he's going to fetch his instrument. Uh, not uh, due to... Uh, Stall. You, the modern tribal audience, are the auditors of the Duke. You'll be experiencing it. You'll be feeling it. Or you'll be in the big crying banner while others experience it. The choice is yours. All the universe or nothing. Which shall it be? Are you uh, ready yet, your grace? Or? Yes, I am the Duke of Uke. And since you asked, yes, my autograph. My uh, ukulele has been autographed and played by the great one, Penny Pym himself. <laughs> I thought it was kind of a roll. However, I have, no, I have no connection whatsoever to the Church of the Sub Genius or its representative, J.R. Bob Dobbs. You don't even talk to me about Connie. Okay, before things spin totally out of control, I have a public service announcement. Oh, no! <laughs> this? This is your heart. This is love. <laughs> yeah! And this is your heart in love. Yeah! Any questions? Love 
really hurts. I need a band aid, actually. I'm totally serious. which he shed, uh, pointlessly, as always, when blood is shed.
a little trouble with the microphone, it's there. Now, before I go any further, it seems, speaking of the sales table, that some person was so all fired generous, they generated, they gave, they donated to us their credit card. Yes, Charles G. Screwball. Uh, uh, we have your credit card and we are sensible of this magnificent gesture. But uh, in the spirit of fair play for all, if you'd like your credit card back, uh, come and see me and uh, we'll talk about the terms. 